I've arrived at Kuka restaurant where today I'm cooking with Kevin for the first time since our Kalimantan tour. We had an amazing experience. We learned so much from the people, techniques, understanding culture. But for us, our journey starts today. We've got two days to collaborate on this dish. Neither of us have worked together before and also our food styles are completely different. So let's see what Kevin's up to, shall we? On, Found it eventually. On time -ish. Traffic was bad, but yeah. I got there. Got it. I've got the boys here. Guys, come around. This is uh, Putri. Uh, we have Ade, Wayan, and Novi. My nice head one. chef, senior key people. Cool. Who's in your team? Well, we got an army. Putra. Oka. Oka. Tony. Tony. Randy. Randy. Krishna. Eric. Wayan. Lovely to meet you guys. Okay, so basically, we're taking two completely different chefs that are both very crazy in their own ways and they're coming together to create a dinner. We're gonna to work together. I want everyone to pair up with each other because this is not a thing where you do your thing, no. we do our thing. Collaboration. It's a collaboration, the real meaning and term of that. We need to go and have a quick chat yeah. and catch up on everything that we've done so yeah. far and some of the ideas that are in our heads. I hope you've had a good night's sleep, boys and girls. Let's roll. So this is where we're at. We know the traditional dishes from Kalimanta. So we've met in Kuka to see how Will's dish and my ideas can slowly start being squeezed together. It's been quite interesting with the dishes that I've created there. We put some twists in them, but I think you know we really got the essence of what we traveled and, and the, the experience we had. So the first dish that we want to start to twindle, burnt fatty duck, on the barbecue, ate a bit grisly, uh, where the old man was Using smoking. <laughs> yeah, it was cleaning the grill with the duck. Uh, but the end dish was actually quite good. You had done with it is make it into a bao. You also, the reason why we did a bao, because there we had rice. So yeah. we wanted to create that white element of fluffiness. So we decided to put it into a, a, a pao instead. Yeah, and westernized. And westernized it slightly. Right. And then we took the sauces that he was so proud of that were really kind of a little more watered down and we did more like a ketchup. Traditionally, yeah. ketchup was actually made with papaya. Correct. To thicken it. So we've taken that concept, or I've taken that concept, and created a sambal ketchup, basically. Yeah. You've got the pow. We, we talk about colors, so we want the black of the charredness that they had there. Yeah, we've, we've done really, a yellow pow. Correct, we've really tried to look at those elements. Fish cakes? Fish cakes, when we ate them deep fried fluffy, ate a bit oily. I'm thinking instead of fried oily, we'll do more like a French mousseline, insert the sambal inside, we'll bread it and fry it to avoid the absorption of oil into the protein, and then we'll crust it like a snowball with fresh coconut. Okay, next one. Rice crackers is my spin on the fried rice dusted fermented fish, where it's gonna be a lollipop made from a savory tweel base, and the fish component will be salted fish, and all the other ingredients, the fried chili, the onion, blah, 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 will then become decoration on the lollipop. So next one, tuna? Tuna. So the original dish, from what I remember, was fish that was deep fried. It could have been any fish, actually. The cat could have had it already. It, yeah. was, it was just bony, nothing, yeah. Yeah. fried in oil. Fried to death. Yeah. But what was interesting about that dish for me is then it just kind of sat in the sauce. We were talking is what about looking at that and really using a good fish and doing more like a sashimi, like a raw. So chopped, uh, mixed with the habang sauce, which the yep. fish sat in. You remember there was like some forgotten cucumber off to the side that was just rough cut? Yep. Start to really refine those garnishes. The cucumber, the shallot component, and kind of turn it into more like a Japanese-inspired-ish kind of sashimi dish with those flavors. Next one was the soup. So this was quite an interesting one. This was one of my challenges, was basically to do dumplings. Right. Um, so we took that whole soup and put it into one complete dumpling today, and we've turned it into more like a shalong bao. Yabbies in yellow curry, very simple, really not yeah. much to do to this dish. It's a very simple paste. Yeah. It really has got not, not a huge amount of flavor. Right. That it, it is quite challenging. It's about the thickness of the coconut, and then we've added uh, the yabbies. We've just cleaned it up with the yabbies, and the idea would be is blanch those yabbies, warm them up in a beautiful kind of red butter, 
to kind of really give you the flavor of kind of lobster garlic butter and then have a yabby, just the head so they, you commented, how can they identify it's just not a prawn? We're gonna keep the body uh, like the little yabby is trying to escape the bowl because every time we work with them, they always seem to run away. The next one is uh, rice in bamboo. Which we cooked on the forest floor. <laughs> so the past three weeks, I have cooked them in the restaurant, I have cooked it at the back of the restaurant, my staff have cooked it, and we still can't get the rice to come out in a perfect circular that they did there. And let's see, I'm not gonna tell you how we're gonna do it, but let's see if we can actually recreate that exactly as we had it. Dum, 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 dum. The fish itself is very simple. We have something similar on from that area in Hujan anyhow, so basically it's a little bit of a cut and paste, but I've added in some other jungle spices in there yeah. that um, I couldn't get I couldn't get here, but I've used local Balinese jungle spices to put in there. The Arabic experience was Coming deeply out. delicious, yeah. and so what we wanted to do was really keep those dishes intact, but play with element. We've, we've definitely created that, that, that flavor. It was yeah. hard to, to try and work out what recipe I should use for that because there are a lot of different style of Arabic dishes out there but I think I've found the yeah. right one that, that is close from to family it. to family you got a bit of Arabic in you know yellow no. <laughs> yeah yellow uh, there was a biryani yeah. rice dish and we're yeah. gonna try with this whole experience the fried lamb because that area is very famous for the mining and so we wanted to find a way to add minerals and gold or something of jewelry to this and we won't again tell you if you want to know you'll have to check out the meal, but yes. you will be eating golden things at one point. Next one is desserts. the desserts. So desserts we're gonna smash. We've got four that we've worked on. Yeah. Uh, I think three will probably turn up. Uh, fruit was a deal. Everywhere you went, it was a lot of fresh fruits and Amazing stuff fruit. everywhere. Amazing fruit. One of the things we wanted to do was figure out how we could elevate a great fruit and make it perplexing, curious, and add interest. Mm -hmm. So we've worked on carbonating uh, fresh rambutan. So when you eat it, it sparkles in your mouth like champagne. But the fruit itself, as it's presented, looks exactly like just a fresh rambutan. So there's some mystery there. Very interesting. That one. Yeah. So we're halfway there, and we've just got another day or so to carry on with this. Yeah. Um, so Yesterday we started cooking. It went from nine to nine. We've done all the prep. Now we need to put food together. It should be interesting. I hope there's another couple of days before we actually have to yeah. start cooking, because we yeah. might need to come back again and, yeah. and rethink, not the whole thing, but one or two dishes. Welcome to our new home. Cook the restaurant, we'll be sleeping upstairs. So the first one is the lollipop, basically, that we're doing. Right. It's, so this is going to be inspired by the fried fish crusted in powdered toasted rice. That's the idea. Okay. That's the beginning. And the principles are, basically, you've, we've, we've done a paste. Yep. Then we've dried it. Right. And then we've, like a biscuit paste, then we've dried it. Yep. I won't tell you exactly what's in it. Let's cut the power in half first. Mix that in there. Let's eat just the sausage. I mean, for a no casing, just emulsification, rolled and poached in cling film, and it was a little warm. Normally I have to cook more. Good. That's not bad. It's not bad at all, actually. Let's move on to the next one. Tuna. Tuna. Okay. Cure the fish in lime juice first. Because that gives texture to the fish. Okay. Otherwise, it's just raw fish. Okay, with, and if we marinate with, with it. Chili jam. Okay. And, and it's just all mushy. We've got this here. So you kind of get tiger's milk out of it as well. I have tiger's milk. I actually make it. Nice. At perfect Peru. It's classic Peru. Very nice indeed. Yeah. Good. Good, yeah. 
more seasoning or? No. No. It's actually Spot slightly, on. yeah. Slightly acidic, but slightly I think acidic. But in okay. the salad, we're good. Taste this and you tell me what you think. Now the thing is, is that that on its own at the beginning is a punch. Do you have fresh celery? Like a western celery? No, we don't use it for anything. And we can change it to western celery. So we use western celery. Yeah. Or maybe try it again with yeah. western celery yeah. in there. Because I think that's going to kill the nice Asian, the nice Asian celery of the leaf in the dumpling. Delicious. Spot on. Got the banjo. We nailed it. Oh. <laughs> They're very expensive. The idea with these would be, now, they're not obviously gonna sit flat like that, so it'd be kind of like that. Well, it depends, I can make them sit flat. How? Cutting them or skewering them? No, before you, you do it like sushi, you so you cut it, and then you bash it, and then, and then they'll come out straight. Ah, oh, yeah, we could, yeah, okay. Do you prefer them straight? No, it doesn't matter. Let's try and then we can, we can make all the changes we want. Okay. That's better. Okay. Because otherwise you see the dirtiness. Okay. I, I actually I agree. So what about what about making it what about making it a bit dirty and then just before it goes out and we just and then when it goes it goes because they're yeah they're very pleasant. I mean it's, it's got a wonderful acidity, you know. and then the white sauce, and then either a dot, because it, the way it holds really well, in the white sauce, a dot, and we'll just do the balls around. Or what we can do is then work this like this around, like a, just a wonderful little loose circle, and keep everything in the center. But we'll, we'll play with that. Is it peanuts, or you use peanut butter? Peanuts. Roasted peanuts, oil, praline, brown sugar, done. Right. I mean, it's like a, it's like a, it's like, it's like a Reese's peanut butter cup. It, it reminds us of, we do something with coconut like that. Um, where we fry out the sediment of the coconut until basically it becomes, uh, it becomes split. And we take the sediment out and then you blend that and then it comes out like oil. Huh. You have this already on your menu? This, no. The, oh, no, but this one and this? No. No? No. Uh, the caramel spoon, sorry, the caramel the spoon, spoon, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then I saw, we give it a little dust. So the idea would be is to take the crackers that kind of look the most like the charcoal and we're kind of just going to cover the dish so that nobody has a, a fucking clue what it is. And it just looks like charcoal. And then the idea was to do just a little bit of paprika, so it looks like yep. smolder, and then a small amount of the ash. What's in that? Sesame. That kind of gives you the feeling of kind of the smoldering, the smoldering uh, charcoal, yep. blah, 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 yep. blah. And then as people see it, there's this grab a chip, grab a yep. chip. What the fuck is that? Yep. Do you remember when we had it at the Warung? 
Yeah, the only problem is, is that when you're sharing that, it will just end up being like gruel. Yeah. Because when we had it, the lamb was on there on its own and the sauce was on the side. Right. So you put the sauce and lamb on there, it's just porridge. Right. And then the cinnamon, we have to find a way to get it to smolder. So we need another small bowl. I can find something. I, I have dal buckets, etc. that, that, that can okay. work for that as well. And then I'll show you the burning cinnamon sticks and we just need to figure out how to do them. That we're going to sauce now, correct? Yep. Uh, the cinnamon sticks, let me burn those and then we can look at how to incorporate. And then where do you see this? Just sitting on the chopping board. Or, awesome. sitting, or sitting on here, yeah. fine as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like literally just two pieces off yeah. to the side yeah. that just smolder. Yeah. Right? And then that's it. day of the event. D-Day, showtime. We've got a lot of important people coming in. Yeah. We've got a lot of friends. Sold out. The event is 100% sold out. From the original idea to, to the adventure. Yeah. To the travel. To the color To the culinary element of it. Yeah. And then actually to put it all together here and put the dining room together as well. Two months of work, hour after hour, and today after this we have actually time to take a little bit of a rest. We got our aprons on. Finally cooking. I've got my chef jacket on for the first time yeah. in a while. Rare. Rare. Very rare. And we're very excited. So we'll see you after the event. communities are one of the most important communities to visit as it's one of the biggest rainforests in Indonesia. We also try to give you all of the feelings and the emotions that make Kalimantan magic. So that's what you will get tonight. Anything to add? That's all, that's all for us. Get ready for dinner, boys and girls. Fantastically done, almost a hundred covers, and it's been an amazing achievement. Tired, tired, <laughs> exhausted. Now we can start thinking. Yeah, and until the next event, God knows where we'll end up. <laughs> My, yeah, it could be somewhere very tropical, hopefully, and yeah. not tribal. No, less tribal, less so, tribal. <laughs> hopefully, we'll see you on the next adventure. See you then.